Hey guys, Bassmaster Elite Pro Paul Mueller. Today we're on the water, fishing cold water, natural lake, a lot of vegetation. I want to show you kind of how I approach the conditions. We're going to be fishing 48, 49 degree water, so it's getting pretty cold and fishing a lake that I don't fish much at all. So I'm going to try to figure out the puzzle. I'm going to show you guys a couple different baits and stuff that I'll use and uh, see if we can catch some fish. This lake is a, it's a unique lake in that it's mostly grass. There's not a lot of rock hard cover other than like really shallow or really deep. So it is a grass bite. For largemouth, it's a grass bite year round. And when you're dealing with fishing in the late fall like this, it's not super late, but we're, pre we're approaching the late fall. What ends up happening is you have areas where the grass dies off um, and depending on how healthy the grass is, what the water temperature is, that kind of dictates where they're at. So when you're fishing these type of lakes where there isn't a lot of hard bottom, you know, present. And, and that's what this time of year, I, I want to find hard bottom. But like on some lakes, it just doesn't have it as, as much, you know, in, in every location as, as other lakes. This is one of those lakes where you just don't have it. So what you have to do, there's one right there, Pike. What you have to do is you have to uh, not catch pike. <laughs> They're always aggressive. No, but what you have to do is you have to find little subtle things, contour changes. Um, where two different types of grass come together. That's really what I'm looking for. And a lot of times, like, you're gonna find something, you know, by looking at your map where, where there's a transition change. It's all about transitions this time of year. So right now we're experimenting with the fish's strike zone. We got really windy conditions. Whenever it's windy, I try to use a moving bait to my advantage. Now, the only problem with trying to get the moving bait bite going is that the water temperature is 48 degrees and we're fishing kind of a, a post frontal deal um, so what that does sometimes is because the water's colder and if these fish don't want to chase the colder the water the smaller the strike zone or the narrower it gets now when you have a windy day like this you'll you'll notice I'm going with with the wind I'm fishing a grass line here and I'm just trying some different stuff, trying a spinner bait, trying a jerk bait. The water clarity is really good. So it's one of those things where a jerk bait can be really, you know, if, if they're willing to, to hit a moving bait, a suspending jerk bait can be really good. A spinner bait can be really good um, in areas where you couldn't fish the jerk bait because the vegetation's thicker. In this case, we're just, uh, we're trying to find these areas where that grass is a little bit healthier and just trying to find those little contour changes. And if that sun will come out, man, I think we could do really good. I mean, the sun, I think, also positions them better. And it also, it helps, it's gonna help me see where I need to throw that jig. Because I'm literally trying to drop it on, on their head. And if I do, if I put this jig on their head, they're gonna bite it. And that's what you gotta do when it's cold like this. You just have to, you're getting a reaction bite, basically what it is. So your fall rate is really important. Fall rate, the profile of the jig, the trailer, all that stuff can make the difference. If you're off, you know, the weight or if you're off the sides of the jig or the style of trailer, you may not get as many bites. So it's something you want to experiment with. And we may be experimenting if, if I don't get, uh, many bites on this I'm gonna check I'm gonna try something different but I I feel like what I'm fishing is the right weight the right trailer for these conditions the water temperature of course it's not gonna probably the sun's not gonna last as much if that wind picks up good fish too man 
<laughs> that fish was on the outside edge of the weed line and he shot out like a cannon as soon as I set the hook. That's a nice fish too. Welcome to Bass University TV, an online video training course where you'll learn champion bass fishing techniques from pro anglers Pete Gluzek, Mike Iaconelli, and their talented special guests. From on the water to in the classroom, you'll learn sound techniques and strong fundamental bass fishing skills. Watch hours of video content on multiple topics at your own pace for a low monthly fee. Cancel at any time. Information is power in the sport of fishing. So learn from the very best. Subscribe to Bass University TV today.